I don't really know we've got a good view on it, but uh, I'm focusing on cylinder number six for some of the measurements. This uh, I bought on the weekend, and it's a uh, like a telescoping inside bore gauge. So once you've measured it, you can tighten up at the end there, and it should stay. Um, regrettably, this bore is kind of getting close to the outside range of the, what this can measure, but it is within. And then, of course, the next one up is too long to fit down here. So I've been taking some measurements further down, because we were only able, with the other machine, I was only able to measure the, the ridge. And then... Uh, the other type, because it's kind of outside or inside, no, the inside caliper. I'll compare them. <coughs> These are all pretty cheap items. So I don't expect the accuracy to be mega high. When I was out here earlier, I measured right in the center of it, and uh, I think it was reporting. I think it was reporting four thou over the 3.4 inch board that this is. So that doesn't seem too extreme. I mean, I don't know if that's good or bad, but remember that when we measured the ring, it was claiming to be about 2,000 under the 3.4. Chances are that that ring is actually probably closer to the actual 3.4 inch bore because the piston never does wear it out. So we're probably looking at a couple of thou accuracy issues with some of these tools. We'll see how these two compare two different types. We'll see if we get a similar, similar measurement. The only way to really do the taper examination is to take multiple points from the top down to the bottom using the same tools and seeing if there's a significant change in the um, in the round of it or in the um, taper. Ultimately, once I get to results that I like and can in some way believe, then I will do all the cylinders and uh, make up a spreadsheet that shows what's going on there. I bought a bunch of other tools as well so I'll show those to you in a sec. So now we ended up using uh, the fancy Mastercraft calipers to measure what these say. Doesn't seem to be a comfortable way to do this. Okay that says uh, 3.425 I don't really believe that it's that wide out. Oh yeah, it's like... Oh yeah. But here we got 3404 again. So that's about the fourth time I've measured that. So that would mean that the center of that cylinder is about four thousandths outside beyond the original design size. And I mean that sounds pretty reasonable for a fifty year old. I'll look it up. I don't know what normal wear patterns are like. But anyway, this this you know, adequate I think. Now maybe we're getting a thou wrong out of this and a thou out of my um, 
Mastercraft things. So it's hard to tell sometimes where the inaccuracies come from, and they add up, right? Like when you have to do this and then transfer that measurement onto another thing, you, you have the possibility of there being uh, an accumulating error. Um, I'll show you a couple of the other things I did, but I saw the, uh, so those telescoping things come with varying sizes. I did get a dial indicator and a mag base. So this will come later for measuring the deck height and the, um, um, and the, you know, the piston uh, position and all that sort of stuff. Power fist. Unfortunately, everything was power fist. I could, I can't afford, I can't afford better tools. Not currently, anyway. But I have been looking at some of the auction sites and whatnot, and that's that's really the only place to get a good deal on something decent. This little collection and assortment. This is where the, um, this is where those inside calipers came out of. He's got a set of outside ones, a depth gauge, a ruler. Anyway, I, I don't like the measurement. I think the measurement I got there was, uh, what, what did I say, 4.2, 4.250 or something like that. Um, I, I don't I don't trust some of those numbers. They didn't have a dingle ball style hone, but they did have this one, which goes from 2 inches to 7 inches bore. And just as good, it's got uh, honing surfaces, and uh, it's, so anyway, it'll do a similar job. I just, I happen to like the look of the dingle ball ones, and the name. Uh, aluminum brushes for cleaning out the passages. I wish they had better, si uh, more variable sizes, but a few of these will match some of the, um, some of the holes on the block that we need to brush out. And then a magnetic base, which holds the um, dial indicator in position while you're taking measurements. This will also come in handy actually to hold the GoPro. I've seen that used elsewhere. So you can put it down on any magnetic surface and it'll stick itself there and then you can position the uh, camera or indicator or whatever wherever the hell you want. I've never owned one of these. Always been intrigued by them. Yeah, so on off switch the magnet. And then, yeah, you can just tighten all the stuff down. So I'll fabric cobble some kind of um, camera mount that will be compatible with this, and then that'll be pretty neat for that too. Nice and hefty. I forget what this one says as far as uh, the traction pounds. 130 pounds on the magnet, so it's more than enough for a camera or dial indicator. But you definitely, once you set this, you don't want to go and walk in because it'll fuck up every single, uh, every measurement you take. <coughs> <coughs> so anyway, yeah, that's uh, just a handful of stuff to help with the measurements that we're getting on. Anyway, I will uh, be back soon. <coughs> and uh, we'll get up to some other bad news. All right, talk to you. Bye.